In this video, we're going to go over the 700 credit process, uh, working with them and getting Lizzie set up uh, to do so. Uh, the first thing, obviously, you have to get an account with 700 credit, so you've got a username and password. So we're going to kind of skip over that part. Uh, you can contact them to, to get that. Um, the, the first thing that has to happen inside of Lizzie is you will need to contact us, either open a ticket or call into support to let us know that you have been set up with 700 credit and you'd like to activate the interface in Lizzie. Um, once you do that, we will turn the interface on and notify you when that's done. Um, once you get the interface, the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to go over here to settings and then we're going to go down here to security and then role setup. We're going to go down to the, the who, whatever role you want. So we're going to go to invoicing and then we're going to click on finance deals and then pick whatever role. So let's say you want to set this up so that sales managers or maybe the finance manager, uh, whoever it is that you want to actually have access to this control. We're going to click on that. And then that's going to drop us down here to the that particular department's or, or roles set up. And we're going to look down here and we've got pull credit reports. Um, so you're going to have to have pull credit reports active for that particular role, that employee or group of employees in order for them to see any of the things that we're about to take a look at. Um, so once you get that done, you hit the save button and that will activate the 700 credit for the individual people. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up here to finance and we're going to go to credit uh, reports. So we'll click on credit reports. And then over here on the right, we're going to enter in whatever your username is. This is just test data. Um, but whatever your username is for 700 credit, the password they gave you, you're going to choose the default uh, agency that you want to check your credit reports with by default and then whatever the backups are. Um, so, so you'll check the one that you want to primarily use and then the ones that you want to use if that one is down and then you'll save that information. And now we're going to go over here to a deal. We're just looking at a finance deal. So right now you can see I'm on an open major unit uh, invoice. Now, one thing with, with this uh, particular environment, we're in a test environment. So what you're seeing here obviously wouldn't be the same as what you're going to see. Um, but we're going to click on the down arrow key to get to the customer information. We're going to hit the pencil here to get the customer's details up. And I've just got a fake social security number in here. This, this is where you would actually put the real customer's uh, social security number. So you'll put in their, their social security number. And then down here at the very bottom, you'll see buttons for check credit via Equifax, which is your default or via the two, one of the two, uh, secondaries if, if, if you can't get it to work through Equifax. Uh, when you click on that, the system will take a second and it'll refresh to show you this particular control, which is all of the uh, information. And again, this is all test data, but um, it'll give you the information about the customer with their credit report. So if you have access to be able to view the credit report, uh, or pull the credit report via that setting that we did first, then you'll have the ability to click either of these two buttons and get this information to show up. Now, this information is good for 30 days. It will stay associated with the customer. So it shows up on any of the uh, deals that you have open for them um, for 30 days. Um, also, um, if we get out of this particular control, so I'm just going to cancel that control and we're going to come back over here and look at our dashboard. So I'm going to go to the home screen and then you notice that we've got a new uh, dashboard here for 700 credit compliance. Um, and so when you click on that after a second or so, it will actually go out and retrieve your dashboard from 700 credit. So you can see what your current standing is with them. Um, look at any problems that you have or, or unresolved issues and be able to, to handle any problems that you may have from directly here from Lizzie. Obviously you can also do this going to their website and logging in, uh, but this gives you a quick way to get to it from here. Again, only the people that have access to the 700 credit compliance stuff or the 700 credit interface um, will be able to view this information.